that in and of itself is a very powerful tool. Very powerful. So we don't have to pay for anything here. This is totally free. All we're doing is finding... Drop apps, and thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. And if you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Matthew. I make daily shop five videos to give you guys course level content for absolutely free. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. And since that stuff helps me out so freaking much, if you do end up doing those three things, I actually give away a free consulting call every single video. And as always, I announce the winner at the very beginning in my little intro sequence. So if you skip through that, go back and double check to see if you won last video's contest. All right guys, so if you have been following my channel, you've probably noticed that I had some live streams where I was building a live Shopify store. Now that Shopify store right now is still being built and the only thing is, is we're waiting for Google Merchant to accept the products that I've submitted so far. Otherwise, everything has been published and that's gonna probably take another four or five days. So hopefully I'll get back to live streaming, but otherwise right now there's not much to do other than maybe make some descriptions and stuff like that. So if you wanna see me do that kind of stuff, make descriptions for my Shopify store, talk about the theme that I got for that store, show you guys around my new store, go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know. And again, you guys can be entered to win that contest that I was talking about earlier. Now, aside from that stuff, I wanna talk about three amazing Chrome apps and Chrome extensions that I use for product research and that especially go really well with Chrome and the new Google ads. So I'm gonna show you guys right now and obviously to get this, you're gonna to need to use uh, Google Chrome. So let's get into it right away. And the first one I wanna talk about is Oberlo. And if you don't know about Oberlo, well, you should just go back and really go to the basics of Shopify. It's just a really good product importer that makes it really easy to fulfill orders. I'm not gonna waste any more time on that. That should be in almost every drop shippers toolbar. Otherwise you could be using zero or something like that but yeah so the next one's going to be commerce inspector so let me show you guys how to use commerce inspector so we'd go write something like mm, the shedding glove plus shopify so this is one of the ways that i like to do product research and what this is going to do is going to take us to uh, a shopify store right it's going to give us a shopify store and one that has the keywords the shedding glove so let's go here to super gadget and this is going to be a Shopify store and I've been on this one many times and it's actually a nice store. They have a very nice bundle and safe thing right here. I actually really like that. And no, you cannot send me anything. So this is a nice store, right? Very basic and does the job very clean and stuff. So what Commerce Inspector is going to allow us to do is actually get a bunch of info. And this is a free version. Everything is free on what this person is doing. So when they created this product, when they updated this product, and again, that's it right there. Just Google Commerce Inspector on your Chrome app very easy to find we can see the theme they got and the revenue and stuff we can actually get that but you have to subscribe to the store and on top of that you have to pay for it so it's pretty expensive but and i don't i don't bother paying for it uh we have a few options up here we can click on sales but that's all going to be hidden from us and again you don't need to get it because uh well it's not that important to have the paid version of this app i'm going to be very honest with you so what we can do though is click on products and we can see some of the recently launched products now this is a very powerful tool especially with the next app i'm going to show you guys so we can see that they have controllers a lot of electronic stuff uh, watches and this is all being published uh, very frequently and what we can do is go hit on these pages and we can go look through we can also click on the best selling now this is something that I kind of advise against because some people oh, yeah some people will actually hide their best selling but as you can see in the products we can see some of their best selling products and these do look like they would be best selling these are very popular products that I've seen many many times and they're very cool products and we can just go ahead and just take them ourselves and before we do any of this, so Commerce Inspector is awesome, but before we trust the information Commerce Inspector is giving us, what we're gonna wanna do is actually get this app here. So I'm gonna move it here just so it's in order. And this one right here is gonna be the Alexa app. Now this one is gonna give us the global ranking of the store in terms of traffic relative to other stores or relative to other websites. And as we can see right here, this store, uh, is ranked 222,337th in America. Now, anything below 500,000 is definitely making over six figures a year easily, okay? And that's actually a very conservative guess. This store could be doing, you know, seven figures, but in revenue, guys, in revenue, not profit. So, so this is a very powerful app because if I show you guys, let me just go on my Facebook account really quick. These shedding gloves, we go to videos. Let's go find one with very little views. Love your pets, but hey, so here's a good one. And do they have a link? Oh, PM for orders. That's weird. So let me, I'm just trying to find. Okay, here's one. So we can go to this website right here. And as you can see, the website looks decent. Everything looks all right. Uh, 
But if we look at the Alexa rank, 14 million. So this person is irrelevant, like really irrelevant. 14 millionth in the world is not really getting enough traffic to be making a considerable amount of revenue. So when we do click on Commerce Inspector here, uh, we can see that and we go to uh, products, for example, and we see these recently added products. I don't really give a fuck. You know, these products are cool, but I don't know if they're selling. I can hit on his best selling. And again, it won't mean anything to me because what the hell is best selling to him? If you go on a new store and write best selling, Shopify will still organize the store for you, but you won't know whether these products are really selling or not. Well, actually, sorry, we do know because they don't get enough traffic at all. And if we go back, right, we could have, we basically could have made this guess right from the video. Very little engagement in three weeks, right? Obviously, he quit this ad a little, way too early, way too early. That's what a lot of people do uh, when they're optimizing for purchases. You do have to spend a little bit more, but again, it's going to be optimizing from purchases from the get-go. So uh, that's how I like to use Commerce Inspector and Alexa. And that's a very, very powerful combo, believe it or not, guys. This is a great way of figuring out. You don't even have to click on the app. You can just hover over and we can see the 14 million right there. And that that in and of itself is a very powerful tool, very powerful. So we don't have to pay for anything here. This is totally free. All we're doing is finding, right? How I'd start this is I just go to AliExpress just to show you guys. And I'd write anything like kitchen, for example, and this might not be a good example, but we'll just hit on orders. We'll find what's selling here. So uh, sink storage basket, sink storage basket plus Shopify. We can go ahead and search that. Go here, foldable kitchen basket. Uh, so this is not exactly what we're looking for, but close enough anyway. Oh, although that is pretty cool. And right away, we can see that this, this store is actually pretty high up there. They're making a good amount of money. They're making a good amount of money. We can now go on the commerce inspector, hit on their best selling, see what they have here. So this trap litter mat is an awesome product. Really good. Really good one. I highly suggest you add that one to your store. It's, it's, a, it's a good product that really solves the need. And it's very simple. So it can't really be fucked up by Chinese manufacturing. Uh, we can go again and just click on products and see the new stuff that they're adding to their store. And then we can check how it is doing with the best selling. And again, somebody has pointed out that the best selling here is not always working. So what you're going to want to do is just post here this and just do it right into their store. They're all slash best selling slash custom and it'll do it uh, by itself. But otherwise, guys, that is how you do it. And that is how I do product research with these two apps. And that's what makes these apps so powerful. First, we're going to check again, just to reiterate everything, we're going to make sure that Alexa rank is between um, is, is lower than 700,000. And what I mean by lower is not is like closer to one. So the closer to one, the better, obviously, with the Alexa rank. And then what I'm going to do is hit on Commerce Inspector and I'll spy on their store from there. I'll know whether this store is a waste of my time or not. And again, the way I do that, just like I showed you, is I'll take the most the, the highest ordered product on AliExpress in a certain niche that I'm interested in. And then what I'll do from there is just search that through Shopify, find a Shopify store that's selling it, that has a good Alexa rank. And from there, I can find really great products. Let's go to my last one. And this one's going to be uh, keywords everywhere. Again, another free one. And I'll show you guys how to use keywords everywhere. So for example, let's, oops, uh, let's just go back here. I can't remember exactly what I searched, but let's go back and let's get rid of the Shopify because Shopify is obviously not something people search for. So here we can see that this product right here is something that people aren't looking for actively. But we can see is, I don't know what Rev on a shelf is or closet made under cabinet shelf. Uh, let's, what's this? Right, so this is something that is searched for on uh, Google. So this is gonna be something geared towards people who are using Google Merchant and are who are using uh, Google uh, ads for their products. Otherwise, it's not really that useful, but it will tell you whether a product is in demand on Google. So let's go write the shedding glove, right? 2,400, not insane. Um, fur glove shop, uh, or we can write like heated gloves, right? And this one will have a decent amount of uh, monthly searches. And you can also change where the country of origin uh, it's pulling its stats from. So right now I have it in the US, even though I'm in Canada. So that's pretty nice for us. And obviously, uh, you don't need to use keywords everywhere. You can just go on Google Keyword Planner and get uh, more accurate results. But this is a quicker way of just seeing whether you're going to be wasting your time or not, because I don't fully trust keywords everywhere, just to be honest with you guys. 
Otherwise, guys, that's going to do it for this video. That's a product research method that's totally free. That's so freaking powerful with Alexa and Commerce Inspector. It's unbelievable. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm sorry I was gone for a week, just a busy week. I got a little bit sick, got, you know, truthfully a little bit lazy. But guys, we're back on that grind. We're going to be back on that live um on that live streaming stuff with that new store that I'm super excited to get out for you guys. Can't wait to show it to you because it's so fucking nice. But if you watch the other ones, you know the link for that one. Anyway, guys, hope to see you guys uh, in the next one and I'll see you guys later. Peace.